Pat, can you uh, fill us in a little on where the situation with Chris Bosch stands, and if he does not have another or did not have another rec- recurrence with blood clots, will he be returning today on July 16th? What would you say the percentages are of Chris Bosch being a member of the Heat active roster in 16-17? It's always fluid, and it has been since, uh, since there was a diagnosis and a decision for him not to play. Uh, for the rest of the season, you know what what the standard of care is in that situation is what drove us to uh, to make that decision. Uh, it's a positive environment right now with Chris, and I think his doctors, uh, our doctors, are constantly, I think, constantly, or more so now than ever, communicating. I know what Chris wants, and I know he wants to play, and. And obviously, we would be open to that. And but there's still there's, this is still a very fluid situation. There, there's there's no uh, on this day today. You said it's today the 15th or the 16th. Already? Okay, this is the 16th. There's not an answer, Ira. I, I wish I could give you one. And so let's just let this process, you know, move on down the road, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Back to uh, Chris Bosch for a second. Um, it, Is it simply a matter of him being uh, free of the blood clots, or is it a much more complicated issue than that with him returning to the court next season? Um, You know, I I can't speak medically uh, about this thing. I I can only speak from a basketball standpoint, and that that he's going to, he's been working out and that he's going to probably continue to work out and, and so from a basketball standpoint is it complicated it's only complicated based on the information that we would get back from from our doctors if there's ever a moment of truth you know when it comes to you know yes or no but uh, but from the standpoint as of today it's moving forward in a position of uh, in down that road of, of him playing that he wants to play and we're open to uh, helping him you know, we're open to helping him get there that's all I can say you know it's it's a sensitive complicated situation that I can't really speak to medically you know from a basketball standpoint I've been told been sort of put on hold here but we know uh, we know what Chris is capable of and and you know the last two years uh, you know, losing him after the All-Star break both years in a row, you just never know what you have or, or what you could have done, you know, from that standpoint as a team. And so that's, that's, what, that's what kills me is that we, had, we, we put together a good team right after, um, you know, LJ left, and, um, but we never had, had the opportunity to see it at its full. So uh, I think we should just wait till you know, August, you know, September. I think we'll have a lot more information then.